हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम चारू महाजन एंड आई विल बी शेयरिंग फ्यू थिंग्स अबाउट स्टिपलिंग इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस दैट आई हैव लर्न एज अ स्टिपल आर्टिस्ट द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग वन शुड नो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग स्टिपलिंग इज दैट इट इज नॉट अ क्राफ्ट फॉर स्पीडी एंड द क्विक You can always work in a small section at a time. For example, you can start with the leaf that I did in the video. For the beginners, you have to start off with doing it only for 10 to 20 minutes at a time. Whatever you do, do not hurry up and finish. Instead, take break and then come back. You will need basic drawing resources for stippling like pencil, sharpener and eraser. But the most importantly the technical pens and the drawing paper. There are variety of technical pens available and I will be showing you few of them. The first one is from Brustro. It is technical pen with 0.1 mm nib. It is water based and will leave you with a very perfect dot on a paper another one is also from brustro it is professional fine liner with 0.1 mm nib you can see it is very fine nib and will give you a very crisp dot on paper another one is from faber castell it is 0.1 mm pen but it's an eco pigment fine liner pen another one is the most common pen it's from the micron and it comes with the archival ink with 0.1 mm fine nib as a beginner you can choose any one of them but i would recommend you to use brustro fine liner When doing pen and ink drawings, be sure to test your paper as not all papers are made for it. You can choose watercolor paper from Canson as it comes with texture and it will not allow your ink to bleed on it. Another one is from Brustro. You can choose 200 GSM drawing paper. It also comes with texture. And here you can see the difference between two. The Canson one comes with the coarse texture and the Brustro one comes with the fine texture. For the beginners, it is recommended to use paper with coarse texture. The last one that keeps me going as a stipple artist is that you have to slow down and think of process as meditation. By following all these initial tips over the years, I have achieved this piece of art in this art you can see the layers of dots the gradient and the consistency created by the dots in the coming videos i will be sharing more on how you can achieve this thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe for more